have themselves right in the thick of things out in the Western Conference. Of course, just the one team will miss the playoffs. Huge hit down at the side of the Condor's cage. And then McKenzie finally finds a dancing partner. Throwing punches and oh, everybody breaking loose. Gloves all over the ice. Clogged Jostling the behind Gimlet. the net. Cloud's the one that jumped in after McKenzie, who saw him coming and landed a good one on him right away. I believe it was Estrada that got tossed Huxley back in the side of the net. Huxley ran in on McKenzie, and now Pender's going to go at center ice here. Pender's got him in. He's locked up with Montgomery. Montgomery holding on to Pender. Two big boys here. He's got his right hand free, but he can't reach Pender. He's got a little bit of a size advantage and a big fight going on along the end boards as well that gets tackled down to the ice. That's Gimlin and Cacheral on the back wall. Pender lands a right on Montgomery, who doesn't want to let go of Pender, who comes up underneath and tries to shake himself loose. Pender takes one, and then he gives one right back to Montgomery as they tumble down to the ice, and they're back up. And then another Ray player comes over and jumps in the middle of it. And it's Estrada, and Parker Stanfield reaches in. I think Stanfield's the only guy on the ice still with his gloves. And then that changes right now. Ice. Pitton coming out at center ice, wanting to have some words with why two Rain players are attacking a Condor. Three Rain versus two Condors. Montgomery's got one guy. Pitton comes in and grabs the one man and pulls him off Pender. And here comes Barubi. He wants to get a piece of Pitton. He took his mask off and everything. Pitton's going to go with Barubi. Lands a couple of rights on Barubi. Another right on Barubi. Brian Pitton still with his mask on. Throws lefts and it doesn't matter. He can have no gear on. Barubi's got no prayer in that one. Estrada has a hold of Pender. Still a wrestling match behind the Condor's net. It's mass hysteria. Cats and dogs living together. I think Barubi shake it up. Penn gave him the business on the ice at center ice. Goulet was in a battle on the back wall. It all started when McKenzie had a clean hit on his Shrata. Huxley stepped in, grabbed McKenzie. And then now, all of a sudden, we've got all sorts of equipment out on the ice. The Condors, Brian Pinn just came out to center ice to break up a three-on-two. That's all he was doing. And that's when Barubi came over, threw all of his equipment off. That wasn't a smart move by Barubi because Pinn still had all his on. It's going to take a while to sort all this out, I think. Well, the linesmen were just kind of watching. I know there was a lot going on, but Estrada made all of that, made half of that happen by coming out. Pender is, was going with Montgomery. They had tumbled down to the ice, gotten back up, and that one really wasn't going anywhere That's at that point. That's a huge hit. That's a clean, huge hit from Ian McKenzie. Watch McKenzie. He kind of dummies his man. He already had the gloves off, but Huxley couldn't see them. Well, and then when it became a two-on-one, then Stanfield came in. And Estrada, I just don't know what he's doing. Grabbing Pender. I mean, Montgomery already had him. And then finally Stanfield lost the mitts and was just trying to lock up Kevin Estrada. Kevin, that should be a suspension, too. You cannot be the third man in in a fight. Pender and Montgomery are two big boys. They're going at it by themselves. Yeah, and, that, and it wasn't. It was just about done. I it mean, was just about those done. Guys were tired. Up. There's no reason for Estrada to hop in. That's when Stanfield comes in. And then look at Estrada on top. That's gutless. That's gutless from Estrada. Keep pounding away on Bender's back. Go ahead. That's why Pinton steps in. I, I, and Barubi picked the wrong fight with Brian Pinton. That's gutless from Kevin Estrada. You're the third man in. Pender's already clocked your guy a couple of times. It's a one on one fight. You're a hockey player. There's no need to step in if you're the third man. Now watch Brian Pitton. There's a couple of highlights. He catches them with a huge right coming up here. Watch this one. And then another one. And then he switches to the left. Barubi's going to get tied up here. Another right. 
Brian, Brian. Well, Ruby can't do anything because Pitten still has his mask on. Nothing says the goalies have to take their mask off. <laughs> I mean, Pitten was just coming in to step step in for his man. And really was just trying to grab a straw. But, but you know, I, I, I mean, you just had the sense that Baruby wanted this to happen, wanted that to happen beforehand. And there's another look at the McKenzie. It's perfectly clean. It's a clean, clean hit from Ian through. McKenzie. Let's stress that first off. But what I don't like either, watch Couture. Couture's going to get tangled up with Gimlet here. And then I think he gets around a linesman and suckers him. No, Gimlet already threw all right. Okay, that's fine. They're good. They're that's good. A, that's a clean fight. Nothing wrong with that. Two on two everywhere. The only issue that we eventually take offense to is Estrada out at center ice. 